Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square and inside this square, this square is divided into several regions, triangles and quadrilaterals. And in the center, it has a right triangle and two regions that are green and blue. And we are required to find the area of the blue plus green. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we need to label this square into parts. So let us label the green as A and this as B and this right triangle at the middle part as C and this as D and this as E. Okay, so next is we uh, notice that this angle on the green triangle is actually 90 because of ver vertical angle theorem and so they are equal and also note that this is a straight line this one angle then this should be also 90 and this should be also 90 and since this is a square so all the angles are 90 the interior angles okay okay so next is we focus on these two triangles this a plus d a plus d and a plus e okay okay so if we focus on this triangle a plus d then if we say that this is an angle that is alpha then this angle should be beta the complementary and this angle should be alpha so because this is 90 this one so this is alpha and since this is alpha on the green part this one this should be the complementary angle beta and next is we have to notice that one leg of this right triangle a plus e is actually a side of the square so let us call this as s and this leg of a plus d triangle a plus d is actually s the side of the square if we actually and analyze these two triangles then a plus a these two triangles are actually congruent because we have one side in between the two angles the alpha and the 90 degrees so for if you if you focus on a plus e you will see the 90 and alpha this 90 and alpha and in between them is a side S. And if you focus on this A plus D, you will also see 90 degree angle and alpha. Okay, so and in between these two angles is a side S. So therefore, by angle side angle, these two triangles are congruent. And if they are congruent, then the area should be equal. So, if the area is equal, then we have A plus E is equal to A plus D. And since a portion of them is equal, which is the A portion, then the area of B is equal to the area of E. Okay, so next is we focus on triangle D plus C and triangle A plus E and triangle B. Okay, so next is we notice that the sum of the triangle A plus E plus the triangle B is equal to the area for the triangle c plus d so why is that and we prove that by 
drawing a line from this point to the left side of this square. So for C and D, C plus D, I mean, the area is actually equal to one half times one side is the base, which is S, a side of the square. And the height is S, so S, so area for D plus C, D plus C is equal to one half S square. And for uh, A plus E and B, we have area of AE plus B is equal to, if we focus on AE, we have one side as S, this side, and if we call this as X, then this distance should be S minus X. But actually, the X cancels out. Okay, so, but let us write it here as follows. And of course, the other side of this triangle B is also the side of the square, which is S. So, for A, E, A plus E, I mean, we have one half times one side is, could be X, times S. Then we have to add the area of the B, which is one half times S minus X times S. So if we simplify that, one half x times s plus one half s square minus one half x times s. So as I have said earlier, it will it will just cancel out because the side sums up, sums up to s, which is the side of the square. These two triangles A E and B. So we have A E plus b, the area, equal to one-half s square also. And therefore, we can say that the area of d plus c is equal to a plus e plus b. Okay, so going back to the last equation that we got, we have d plus c is equal to a plus e plus b. And we also found out earlier that d is equal to e. And if d is equal to e, we can simply substitute this e with d plus b. So we cancel this and this. And we have c is equal to a plus b okay so for the final step since we know the area of a plus b which is equal to the area of c and since c has dimensions of uh, four and five for the legs and it is a right triangle then we have a plus b is equal to one half times four times five. So a plus b is actually equal to four divided by two. This is two. Five times two, then this is ten square units. And that is our answer. Now, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you liked our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.